Hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I've got Essence Glitter Chalk and on air I'm going to do a drag marble. I've got this Essence and this one is on air. It's kind of hard to see. And this one here is Glitter Chalk. And I'm just going to go in and put stripes of both colors. Kind of a little thick, you know, on my little mat here. Do them side by side, just a couple of lines. And I'm going to use my little water marble tool and just drag back and forth like a little swirly zippity zob. Zippity zob it. And just kind of draw in this little design. I've been wanting to do, you know, some, some different kind of manicures other than stamping here for a while. And I finally found a little bit of time to play. Um, and I've just really wanted to, to do some drag marble. And I figured these two would look really good together. Now I am making more decals than I need. And, and I do recommend doing that at least one or two more because you might have problems with one of them. I've had that before. And then here you are. You've got four nails done. And the last one you can't do because you got to wait to do another decal. So I normally do at least one extra one. Plus, they're just fun, <laughs> at least for me. I had been um, looking at stuff on uh, YouTube, and I don't even know what channel it was, but it just, they don't talk through it. They don't describe anything they're doing. They just show a bunch of really cool nail art, and there was a whole bunch of drag marble stuff on it, and I thought, oh, I need to do that. But aren't they cute? Like, just little swirls. I am going to use this on air as my base color um, just one coat of it you know I've got my base coat already on and now I'm going to do a base color just so that when I put my decals on if something's not like all the way edge to edge or anything you know it's not near as noticeable and try to cap that teeny tiny little edge I wouldn't even call that a free edge it's just an edge so here we go I'm going to top it with the Pro FX quick dry top coat get it to dry down and in the meantime we're letting those decals dry and the drag marble decals don't seem to take near as long as some of the other ones that I've done like blobicure decals or you know some some of that reverse stamping that you know it's a little, they're a little thinner so I'm gonna use this little cuticle tool to kind of get the edge to start popping up and then I'm gonna pull it off of the mat very carefully and use my little scissors to trim this down just a little bit. You know, these nails on this hand are very, very short, so it's not going to take very big of a decal to, to um, you know, cover it. So now that I've got my decal trimmed, I'm going to go in and I'm going to just make sure that it fits while it's dry. There's nothing on my nail. I'm just making sure, okay, that's that'll work. Yep. So there we go. I'm going to set it to the side. And I'm going to use some of the Pro FX Sticky Base Coat and just do a layer of that to help this decal stick all the way down. And I guess I would call that like a regular coat. And I'm just going right in with it, all wet and tacky and everything. Mushing it down, lining it up. Trying to make sure I've got it going all the way around the nail and it's where I want it. Here we go. I'm going to go in with this little cuticle pusher. It's a little rubber one from Sally's. And I'm just tapping down and mushing and smoothing out. Um, it, does, it does benefit you to take the time to, you know, work on this a little bit. You know, some more mushing with the finger. Tapping and mushing. Lots of that going on today. I'm going to go in with my acetone and my cleanup brush and kind of melt this to the nail a little bit better around the edges and do some cleanup. I like to do kind of like a push tap tap method. I don't like just smearing it so much. Um, once you've got kind of broke through that polish and it's kind of wet with the acetone. You can do a little bit of brushing with it, but I do a lot of tapping 
because I don't want to start pulling, you know, brushing that down the side of my nail trying to clean it up and then drag it or move it. I don't want to move it. See, now that that has gotten soft, I'm able to kind of brush around a little bit. Now, I do have some glittery fingers right now because this on air, uh, woo, I mean, I got little glitter bits everywhere. But that's okay. After I get done and my nails are all the way dry, I just wash them and all that stuff will come off. I'm trying to get up in there. Some more tapping. I'm trying to make that kind of seal down. And down here on this end, this little bitty tip of an end. I really do like drag marbles, and I'm telling you, there are some amazing videos out there, some fancy designs. Maybe one day I'll get there, and I'll take you guys with me if I get there. <laughs> so I'm going to top it now with some sesh feet. And these drag marbles are kind of like a lot like uh, water marbles. Every one of them looks different, you know, different thicknesses of the polish and... You know, it's just, uh, that's part of what I like about it, is they are unique. They all look similar, but they're not exactly the same. So there we go. Gotta break Woody out and do a little bit of cleanup. And you can see this one didn't go all the way to the edge, but it's not really that noticeable, so not gonna worry about it. I've got a swatch photo coming up here very soon, but I would love to hear what you think about this manicure. Please leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. And I want to thank you for watching. Until next time, be good to yourself. Talk to you soon.